So basically, what you were seeing there was some narc piece of shit removing obstructions from people's license plates. You know, usually I'm for vigilantism, you know, taking out the trash, taking out the garbage, r r removing the pet or, or, or like, you know, taking out drug dealers. You know, I I'm a Punisher fan. But this kind of narc shit is a whole nother level. Like, th there's there's observing drug deals going on. There's uh, there's there's all forms of vigilantism. You know, there's people who do stings to catch like uh, predators and, and and stuff like that. But 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 really, man, I mean, this guy's practically ensuring that the state gets its money. Woo. You know, you, you make sure that corrupt politician gets the, you know, the fees and fines on uh, more citizens and hardworking uh, Americans. Yeah, you go, buddy. You go, you absolute piece of sh shit. Um, but yeah, that's my spicy take. And while although, like, people are using this to avoid speed traps and stuff, and legally I can't say break the law, but... You know, there, there comes a point where if your government's taking your money and sending it overseas and to Ukraine and, and other hellscapes of the world so they can kill other human beings, but yet we can't afford shit for homeless veterans, we can't afford stuff to help people recover from drug, a, a, a drug addictions and homelessness here in America, we can't solve the child hunger crisis here in America, no, we have to get arms and munitions to third, third world countries in, in Europe and Asia and the Middle East so they can continue with their campaigns of terror against other human beings. That's a okay, but but don't you dare cover up your license plate, you evil doer. I I'm sorry, but this this is just some narc level shit. Um, yeah, like I I guess if this is this guy's hobby, uh, wow man, uh, you you make sure those politicians get their money. I, I this is I I saw this on Reddit, and sometimes I see shit on like Reddit and Twitter and just. <laughs> I, I can't imagine what kind of asshole you have to be to stoop to this level, to be this much of a status-like whore. This is the kind of guy who probably ratted out his non-vax neighbors to, like, the police and the authorities saying, They're not vax, so do something about throw them in a camp! Right, he's probably that kind of fucking guy. And this is the kind of guy, if, if he's your neighbor and authoritarian rolls around, he's probably going to be the one that's going to, like red flag your ass or like narc on you to the like authoritarian police or like federal gestapo and have your shit pushed in just because you like looked at his like pet dog weird or it's like pomeranian you, you like snarl as pomeranian or something he probably seems like that kind of person but uh yeah this level like usually i'm for vigilantism uh but but there's a point at which uh you know hell there's even like this sh the uh los angeles sheriff's department is notoriously corrupt like they steal drug dealers money and shit like that allegedly of course <laughs> don't fucking kill me but uh, yeah i'm even for like dirty cops on that i mean shoot that money i mean at least they're using that for their own personal gain versus a drug dealer uh using it to, to buy guns and push more poison but uh, then again you know corrupt cops are bad in any aspect uh but yeah this is the kind of guy who's also like a, a just a pro-government like butt whore uh, I would assume so if someone's doing this. And, you know, of course, if you look, they're New York, Michigan, uh, Maryland plates. So, you know, this guy, you know, you know, his politics. He's he's a staunch, uh, just absolute status butt slut. And uh, uh, <laughs> wow, uh, that's all I can say is just, that's it's pretty sad especially in those states where you like high crime and violence is like taken off. But hey, you police and license plate bandits and speed trap avoiders. And even if they do, you think this is going to curtail people's behavior and speeding? You think this is going to make them drive safer? No. No, it's not. You harebrained just ding dong. But yeah, I saw this to trigger the shit out of me. And 
uh, <laughs> you know, it's just God. So I'll relate this. Speaking of crime and vigilantism, okay. So in New York, there was these people. They would put air tags. Get this? They would put air tags on drug dealers, like cars. And they would follow them back to their safe houses and they would rob the shit out of drug dealers. Not only does that take brass balls, but that takes a whole nother level of madness and ingenuity because it's a victimless crime. You're physically robbing from drug dealers. And not only that, but if those drug dealers find you out, you're not going to die nice. You're going to die very horrendously. But the fact that someone had the balls to do that and the sheer madness and cojones, that is respectable. Okay, so what I'm trying to say here is vigilante, the vigilanteism, there's a line. <laughs> if you're going to commit bad shit, at least commit bad shit against bad people, right? Uh, it's like uh, I, I even saw this Reddit post one time where someone was saying, well, you know, sexual offenders have to register where they live, right? Well, uh, you have where they live, and you can break into their homes and steal their shit. Victimless crime. And I was like, that's fucked up, but, you know, I can't see disagreeing with that opinion. So th there comes a point with vigilanteism, I, I guess, in my weird sense of morality is uh, as long as it's going to, if you're victimizing criminals, I guess that's kind of fucked up. But, you know... There's there's a scale here between being vigilante and just again a state like state narc uh, or you know status butt slut as I said. Uh, so so there's a line and this guy's crossing it. Uh, but then again, that's just my weird ass opinion. Maybe you guys differ. Uh, maybe you guys are, like support this dude. Maybe. Uh, Someone out there thinks, oh, he's, he's really doing a service, you know, in a country that's in the United States, quite literally falling apart at the seams and the wheels are coming off. The, 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 the steering wheel has detached. The, the, the windows don't roll down and we're going off a cliff. Uh, but I, I know it just seemed a little weird to me that uh, someone we, who knows? Maybe these guys are serial offenders like he's doing, but I, I don't know. The situation still stands that this is just for whatever reason just made me empirically like I'm tilted. But then again, that's my problem. I'm tilted at the, the littlest of things that just makes me tilted. In fact, like I'm tilted all the time. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you got a kick out of this. Uh, comment below. What's what's your opinion on this guy? Is what he's doing justified? Is it too far? Does it cross the... The, the line or or maybe i'm wrong uh but hey compared to the stories where the guys are robbing drug dealers and uh, uh the, the, the other guy suggesting <laughs> you steal from uh predators you know i don't know it, it just seems like there's a scale here to vigilantism in my opinion but then again i have a, i have a weird sense of uh, moral justice but but bullying and exposing your your fellow citizen to the tax man is pretty like narc behavior hey you want to click some extra shit over there over there up here stuff down there oh yeah